Tyson. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> My name is Tyson McLewitt and I drive Route 36. Uh, I am 19 years old um, and one of my favorite hobbies I love to do is I love to go ride transit systems. I've been riding buses since I was about eight years old because my parents could never afford a car and it just kind of just went from there. The more I rode the bus, the more I was just like, that's something I really want to do. When I was a student, I was a student at Welty Education Center. Um, they approached me with a project proposal about doing a big project on transit, on transportation. Make sure you check everything, Tyson. You got it. Tyson came to us. Um, he was a transfer student from Colorado Springs um, last year in August. Of course, as you know, in order to graduate high school, you have to show that you can master English and math. And he has huge test anxiety. He was really, really worried about it. Came up with um, a way that he felt that he could be successful in mastering the English and math standards. His math uh, component of this was to do his budget living on a salary that he would make as bus drivers. That was one. The other thing was that he was um, in our English class, uh, Miss Sonia Gonzalez, she was having him look at different perspectives. And so uh, as part of his English project, he had to choose a perspective. He took it from a low socioeconomic perspective. So then we started looking at what he could do in Fountain to help with um, this sort of investigation into mass research. So he did a Google form with his classmates to find out. He was surprised to find out that most people didn't even know there was a bus system that was working. So then he was like, how is there a way that we can get this advertised? But then we started looking at, um, could he work in District 8? Kind of during the school year, I was like, okay, um, I kind of want to find a job once I graduate so I know I can you know, have something to do when I graduate. Applied to be a monitor here at uh, District 8 for uh, school buses and that's when I became a monitor for about six months. Um, one day when I was bringing in one of the U-Hauls they asked have you ever thought about becoming a driver and I said well I thought you had to be 21 and they said nope we are actually uh, trying to change that and they said if you can get your permit uh, we would be willing to hire you on as a full-time driver. Never in, never in a thousand years would I think I would go from a student last year to being a driver in such a short amount of time. And being behind the wheel of a school bus is honestly the best thing I could ask for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He came to us saying he just didn't know what his future was going to look like. And look what he did. And he did it through his sheer determination, through research, through information, for asking for assistance, for taking advantage of opportunities. So I was very proud of him. And he saw us one day. He dropped off and said, hey, best comfort. <laughs> so i just just proud of him that he started this his career that he's been passionate about for so long. You are given an opportunity and you really want that opportunity, even if it's not what exactly what you want right now, but you know it can lead into other things, take it while you can. It's definitely something that I learned when I became a driver.